What is going on, Multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a very interesting new, well, I'll call it a developing theory at best. So I'll be curious to see what your guys' take is on this whole thing. But in order to understand this full theory, let's go back a couple days. So there's an, a few important tweets that we need to go over. So the first one comes from the official Multiverse's Twitter account where they mentioned MVPs, we are not done with character reveals yet, more to come soon, have a bananas weekend. Of course, the important thing being right there in the middle, character reveals with an S as in plural, as in more than one, as in at least two. All right, so we did the video about Jason yesterday on the channel. So if you haven't seen that, maybe you want to check it out. But basically, if all that information in that video kind of falls into place, Jason will be the third and final character on the launch day roster. So when Multiverses tells us that they have more than one character reveal yet to come, well, that starts getting us thinking a little bit, doesn't it? And especially with Tony Wynn quote tweeting the Multiverses tweet where he tells us, I'm telling you Monday is going to be insane. So he's putting kind of like major implications on Monday, something massive is going to happen, right? Character reveal or multiple? How could we get multiple character reveals? Well, a few months ago, I believe it was Multiverses themselves replied to a fan on Twitter saying that there is another cinematic trailer in the works. So this could be what we get Monday. We have to wait and see just one more day. But, you know, this could be massive. So continuing on, when we look at the official Player First Games Twitter account and a few of the pictures that they posted, I believe on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, but something simple, something chill, something a little fun, right? It's just three pictures of office workers having a little bit of fun. They all got their bananas smiling, having a good time, right? Of course, I need to mention real quick, I could make an entirely different video on this if I want to, but look over on the wall on the right hand side. What are those called? Soundproof panels or something like that? You notice anything specific about them? The design? Does that remind you of the Matrix in any way? Is that a hint towards a Matrix character? Maybe Neo, possibly? Uh, again, could make maybe a separate video on that, but I'll just mention it here for now. So picture number two, another guy. Sorry, I didn't know who this was, but he's also having a little bit of fun. He's got the banana upside down. He's got a life-size Wonder Woman statue behind him. That's kind of cool. Over on the right-hand side, we see all the player cards or the character cards in, for multiverses characters. Tried looking at all of them, but it's all currently known characters, so there's nothing new to see over there. But picture number three is where things start to get really interesting. So again, like the first pick, look in the back of the room. You see anything interesting? Maybe a poster that mentions Watchmen? Is this another possible hint at something that could be coming down the road into multiverses, a Watchmen character or two? Who knows? But that's still not what we're even talking about. Let's take a look at this picture again, but look more in the front. Does anybody look familiar to, well, anybody else? If not, don't worry. You see the first guy in the chair? You know who that is? Anybody know who this is? This is none other than Tobias or John Tobias. I was going to call him Tobias John. Uh, that's the wrong way of his name. But this is none other than John Tobias. You know who that is? Well, again, if you don't, don't worry. Here's a quick side-by-side -side of John Tobias and, well, presumably John Tobias, right? So what does this mean? What, what, what significance does John Tobias have? Well, guess what? He happens to be one of the co-creators of none other than the Mortal Kombat fighting game series. And he's credited with developing, you know, detailed storylines and designing many, many of the characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise. Now, that's big. Why is there a co-creator of Mortal Kombat in the Player First Games office? What's going on with that? Hang on. We, uh, this gets a little bit better. So if we ask ourselves the question, what is John doing there? Well, does he work for Player First Games? Well, no, actually, he's not on the website. It's not under his official Twitter profile. Nothing. In fact... As of 2012, Tobias works as a consultant in the video game industry, and he's currently employed by the social game studio Zynga. Now, Zynga, are they owned by WB in any way? Well, no. Take-Two Interactive actually announced back in January 2022 that they had an intent to buy Zynga for $12.7 billion, and then the deal was, well, completed later that year. So, Take-Two Interactive, they're the company that uh, owns... Uh, major publishing labels like Rockstar Games and 2K. So again, nothing WB, nothing has to do with it. So again, why is John Tobias in the office? Why is 
but one of the co-creators of Mortal Kombat hanging around in the multiverses in the player first games office. Well, go back to what we mentioned just a bit ago. John Tobias happens to be a consultant in the video game industry. Well, if you're a consultant, well, you're being brought in to consult on whatever you're an expert on. And with him being a co-creator and designing characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise, is that why he's in the office? Is Mortal Kombat, are Mortal Kombat character or characters coming to multiverses? Again, if you're going to get the design and details right on characters that have been designed, you're going to want somebody that, well, possibly was the exact dude that created those. So is this why John Tobias is in the office? Is Mortal Kombat coming to the game? Now, again, we mentioned the Jason theory in yesterday's video. And when we look at that character select screen, there's a few names that do fall into place. Johnny Cage would happen to fall in perfectly in between the character slots of Jake and Joker. But supposedly, from Papa Gino's over on his Discord server, he did disconfirm a list of characters. Johnny Cage happened to be a part of that list. So, is somehow Jason like a red herring? Is this like, I don't know, is, the, is this the developers somehow throwing us off of Jason? And the real answer's kind of been sitting in front of our face the entire time? I don't know. I don't know. And again, I got to mention a few years ago, Tony Wynn brought up a tweet or he tweeted out, asking the fans what Mortal Kombat characters they would like to see in multiverses. So are these puzzle pieces falling together or is this like something that's gonna come out later during season one? Are we getting Mortal Kombat characters in any way? It kind of seems like it. You don't just have the co one of the co-creators of a series in your office for no reason, right? Especially if he's employed by a different studio entirely. So there's something that appears to be going on. What in fact that is, I don't know. We have to wait and see, but yeah, but uh, so let me know your guys' takes on this. Are we onto something here? Are there a lot more teases in these pictures than uh, than we actually realize? Like we mentioned with the possible themed Matrix soundproof panels and then the Watchmen poster and John Tobias in the office. So it looks like multiverses might be hiding a lot more or po possibly hiding a lot more in plain sight. So and again, with the Watchmen poster, that does feel a little off, doesn't it? It's the only post. No, nothing wrong with having posters on the wall. Have them. Go for it. But only having the one instead of, you know, other movie posters or game posters plastered all over the other wall right next to it. Doesn't it seem a, a tiny bit strange? I don't know. We could be seeing like a glimpse into multiverse's future here. So this would be cool. And a lot of this would be really surprising, right? <clears throat> there were no data mines about Mortal Kombat characters. Well, there was something like way back in the early days, but that was kind of iffy at best. So Mortal Kombat, Watchmen, Neo, Matrix, whatever it is, <laughs> something's coming. So the, All of this has to mean something, right? So there's your theory. What do you guys think about it? Well, let me know in the comments.